We're putting the finishing touches on a new exhibit at the museum, a museum that tells the history of America and the world through major news events. And obviously, Elvis Presley was a major newsmaker. The exhibit at the museum celebrates Elvis, uh, his career, his accomplishments, but also is about Presley and the press. And as you can see here, we've got a wide array of headlines. The most remarkable thing we've learned here at the museum is, is how negative that early press coverage was. And this man looked like a menace to many. And you go back and look at that coverage, especially the New York Times, just vicious, uh, saying he didn't sing, he, he caterwauled, and comparing him to a, a burlesque queen, and, and basically saying he was just dangerous for America. An entire generation of young Americans had their first taste of censorship while watching Elvis on The Sullivan Show. They had no idea what was going on below the waist, but they knew it was important, and they were being deprived. One of the... Uh, crowning elements in this amazing exhibit. This is Elvis's 1957 Harley motorcycle. And just look at this thing. It's, it's, it's kind of a jukebox on wheels. It's just amazing. And, and you just, if you walked up to it, you'd know that either Elvis Presley or Marlon Brando was on top of this thing. We do owe a debt to the Commercial Appeal and Chris Peck, the editor there, for putting us together with Graceland. It's a, it's a great partnership. And, and what we've done is take the resources of both organizations for this very special exhibit. We also have here in the exhibit a lot of examples of Memphis journalism and the commercial appeal is well represented here with lots of headlines a lot of hometown coverage of Elvis uh, and and it actually captures an era uh, if any news organization was supportive of of Elvis during those early years it had to be his hometown dailies he uh, he was obviously a local boy who made very good and there's a lot of pride in Memphis at the time